Hello everybody, this is Yellow Demon Hurler back with more Star Trek Online, the Romulan arc, and my voice is already breaking. <laughs> um, when we last left our hero, um, we delved into the mines of Hifar, met a Horta, and then um, uh, slowly escaped from a uh, collapsing facility. And now we are on to Frozen. Let us begin, shall we? We know from the information you recovered from the Hifar system that the Tal Shiar are planning to attack a Riemann settlement in the Dera system. We have an opportunity to reach the settlement first. I want you to go to the Dera system and learn more about the Riemann uprising. If you can gain the trust of the Riemanns by convincing them of your solidarity with their cause, so much the better. I suspect this affair is more than simple squabble. The Tal Shiar either have something to gain from persecuting the Remans, or they are under orders to do so. I want to know which it is. Noted. Okay. And we get this stuff. Except. Oh, you did that. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to craft our newly acquired uh, young Horda into a uh, combat pet. Um, since the uh, crafting revamp, that apparently requires some item that spawns a duty mission uh, that duty officer mission that I don't know how to get so um, I did however somehow manage to get um, a second polytrinic acid horda <laughs> combat pet which is interesting because you're only supposed to be able to have one per character I actually forgot that I'd given uh, that to Satra <laughs> so anyway now we have two polytracid Poly, polytrasic, polytrinic acid hoarders. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> Subadmiral, the Remans are jamming our sensors, and there is no way to determine where their base is located without assistance. We need a guide. Sensors are picking up a communication satellite nearby. We should be able to modify it to emit a signal that the Reman ships will think is from one of their ships. Uh, when the Remans send someone to investigate the signal, we can get a sensor lock on their ship and follow them back to their base. Continue. All right. So, use the comm array. Hmm, there it is, blinking. Micronebula and limiting sensor function. We can use it to hide from the Riemann ship when we send the fake distress signal. Eh. Bum, bum. Okay. The blinking thing is something else. Let's alter the array. The modifications are complete. Um, Sub Admiral. When we trigger the transmission, some Riemanns should think... Uh, the Riemann should think it is a vessel that is losing power and needs assistance. There's a micronebula aft of our location. That should be sufficient to conceal the uh, Boss Mobile 4 energy signature while we wait for our Riemann guide to arrive. Retreat to the micronebula and send the distress signal to the Riemann base. <laughs> now let's turn in a super wide arc. Slow. Maybe I made a mistake um, picking this uh, cruiser. Send signal. It's a Riemann Warbird. There's us in the background. The signal work, Captain. Riemann scout ship in range. It's moving to scan the area. Have a sensor lock on the Riemann vessel. We should be able to track it if it goes to warp. Detecting a large energy buildup. Sir, it's near the Riemann ship. Oi, where did you come from? Romulans, the battleship is powering disruptors, Captain. Should we go to red? Yes, go to red alert. Captain, they're firing on the Riemann ship. The ship, scout ship's weapons and engines are damaged, sir. It can't take much more. Cloaked. The Riemanns are cloaking, sir. Attempting to re-establish sensor lock. Captain, the Riemann ship is decloaked, but its engines are damaged and sensors de are detecting a tachyon leak. They can't stay hidden for long. We should attack the, ta attack the Tal Shiar ships, sir. When we destroy them, the Riemanns will be able to escape. They will re lead us right to their base. N okay. Sir, incoming hail from the lead Romulan vessel. They have detected us. I don't think these Arnolds Patak will say anything that we want to hear, but they are insisting on speaking to, with you, Captain. Putting it on the view screen now. Klingon dialogue. Ah, the fame... 
Now, we encountered you before. The famed RRW Batmobile 4. You've been nothing but trouble for the Tal Shiar. You don't seem to understand that you are only hurting yourself and your own people by refusing to work with us. We are, after all, trying to save Romulan society and culture. If you wish to avoid further confrontation, leave immediately. Separatists have no business interfering with the in the affairs of those of us who are trying to keep their, our empire intact. Let's clear the nebula. Uh, cloak. Okay. So that the Daredex is facing away. Um... So let's do control zero, control eight, and decloak six, fire. Yeah, boy. Uh, oi, hazard emitters, four, to get rid of that, um, what you call it? Oh, nine, eh, man. This battle is not going all that great. Uh, three. Two. Oh, great viral matrix. A stream of plasma torpedoes usually follows that. Eh. Boom. Control three? I think that absorbs damage from the energy damage for shields. Oi! Zero. Um, eight. High energy turn. Actually, evasive maneuvers, technically. Boom. Now I have some distance. Slow. Recharge the shields. And. Aha! Nice timing. Four, three. Can I find my platform torpedo? I can't. Boom! Almost done. Ow! What control four do? I don't remember. Reverse shield polarity. Energy damage. Heal shields. Okay. Polar on turret. Shield array Mark 9. And there's the Riemann ship. Approach the Riemann scout. Slowly. <laughs> eh. <clears throat> so, the Riemann scout ship is decloaked. They'll try to shake us. We need to stay close until we get a lock on the ship's warp signature. Follow. Let's cloak. Going a bit too fast. There we go, that's better. They're gaining on us a little bit, but that's okay. Um did um They're not good at doing a uh, very good job of shaking us. There's a random beacon in the middle of nowhere. Where is the music? Shouldn't there be music? Human Scout is cloaking. Mo guy. Okay, control zero, control eight. Let's bring her around. Zero, six, and five. Oh yeah, control five. I should um, try my new Aston beam. That was a pretty good initial run. Oh no, mines. Tractor beam mines. That's my uh, strategy. 
except I don't have tractor beam lines on this. So you don't get that until the green arm. However, that um, uh, uh, Harpang torpedo appears to have taken care of them. So, that's nice. Here, have another one. Not paying torpedo that. And almost there. And, eh. Four, three, two, boom. Okay. No, I don't want the lockbox. Okay. There are the Remans. They are the Remans. I couldn't see them, but I knew it was going to be them. <laughs> and just warped away through an asteroid. The Riemann ship has executed a short warp jump, and I, sh and I have a lock in its coordinates, sir. You can engage warp as soon as you're ready. Follow the Riemann scout. And here we are on Hoth. <laughs> I'm not picking up any ships here, Sub-Admiral, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are one or more cloaked ships in the area. Riemann cloaked ships can appear as concentrations of tachyon particles. I will continue scanning the area. There is something interesting on the planet's surface, however. Sensors are detecting a large underground installation. It could very well be the base that the Riemann resistance is using. The entire area is protected by a magnetic shield, though, so we can't transport it in sh inside. In sh I almost said inside. There is a series of caverns connected to the installation. We could send a team there and try to find a way to disable or circumvent the magnetic shielding. Okay. Let's beam down. Take everybody. Well, all the regular suspects, anyway. All right. sub -Ambril. this is incredible. The underground cavern we are in is a natural, but the base itself, it's a ship. The Derelict class, if my tricolor re readings are correct. The Remans have moved a derelict vessel into the cavern. We appear to be in a maintenance area adjacent to the hull of the ship. The Remans probably mine these tunnels for raw materials. I'm picking up multiple veins of ore that could be useful if they are replicating ship parts or weapons. But this cave is made of ice. Oh, I guess there's rock there. I'm not reading any way into the ship from here, though. We'll need to find an entrance. Find a way to enter the ship. Mature Jackal Mastiff, even though we're underground. Sir, the cavern seems to be occupied by indigenous fauna. We should proceed with caution. Yeah. Yes, tackle the Jackal Mastiff. Okay. Let's just Search crate. I have crate expectations. Sorry and Brandy. My expectations were not exactly met. Okay. More jackal mastiffs. Eh. Eh. Whack. You know, I don't exactly um, condone um, running around randomly shooting the wildlife, but MMOs, everything is trying to kill you, so. Grenades. Grenades on wildlife. Okay. Consoles in this room appear to operate the heavy machinery the Reams used to create the cavern. The entrance, entrance to the base should be just ahead. Now I have great expectations. The tunnel leads directly into the main area of the base, sir, but it's completely blocked. I wonder if a weapon on its highest setting would breach it. Scan the grate and find a way into the base. This gate is made of trilithium alloy. Um, sub Admiral, there's no way to handle a hand weapon will blast through it. We need something with a lot more power. 
That's it. Sir, did you see the mining laser? Uh, if it's operational, we might be able to modify it to do the job. I think the controls for the laser are on the other, uh, are on the other side of this wall. Okay. Use the con laser control panel. I don't know. This thing looks pretty iffy. Also, why would you put the controls on the opposite side of the wall from the uh, thing you're controlling? Unless the laser is damaging. Malfunction engaging automatic shutdown. Of course. Nothing's ever simple. So here's something must be wrong with the mining laser. Uh, we should perform a detailed scan to determine the source of the problem. Scan. Scan. Uh, excuse me. Sub-Admiral, the mining laser's power system isn't strong enough. We won't be able to cut through the tritanium. I think there are several different ways we can fix this. Your career training will help. Your applied tactics instructor always told you to use whatever was available to get the job done. You think you could um, use several hand weapon power cells to boost the output of the mining laser. Klingon weapons aren't compatible. I'm not using Klingon weapons. But the Remans might have left something use, uh, suitable in the cavern, in the cave. Okay. Oh yeah, everybody's still wearing those masks. <laughs>